Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. We're gonna chat about my week. I had a pretty exciting week. We're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic and set some goals for next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. You're not gonna wanna miss them. Also make sure you check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories this is how I've lost 140 pounds and kept the weight off long term, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you just want to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. Come over and join us. We would love to have you. It's also linked down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the workshop topic. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing week. Like I said, I had a really good week. I actually had a soul fulfilling, exciting week, which is something that I haven't had since plastic surgery. I am officially just over six weeks post-op. Although six weeks is a long time, it definitely feels longer. I mean, more like six months, nine months, a year. It definitely feels longer than six weeks, but I've turned a corner in my recovery. I would say that I'm feeling about 95% back to normal. I'm in the healing stage now, so all of the incisions are itchy and scabby and a little bit uncomfortable. I am still having to wear my support garment for my breasts for about another two weeks. She recommended about at eight weeks, which is fine by me because it's pretty uncomfortable without it. And I definitely need that added support to help fluff those implants and drop them into place. One thing that I've noticed since my surgery is that I'm having a little bit harder time sleeping organically. I can often fall asleep, but again, I'm having a hard time staying asleep and then I'm waking up in the morning not as refreshed and normal. So I've really heavily been relying on Stilace. Now, a lot of you guys have reached out to me this week alone, I've gotten several DMs, comments on my YouTube channel, in my Facebook group, asking if I still utilize Delay Sleep Supplement. And the answer is yes, this little guy right here is my baby. This is how I not only fall asleep, but I stay asleep and I wake up refreshed because I need to be refreshed because I am extremely busy and I need the best sleep possible. Not to mention inadequate sleep, doesn't benefit our weight loss journey. So a little bit about Stilace Night Capsules. They help you drift to sleep, stay asleep, and wake up in your natural flow. They contain bioactive aptogens, nootropics, and botanics to engage every part of sleep health, made for a sustainable sleep cycle. They're vegan, there's no artificial colors or flavors. They contain valerian, root, and hops, and melatonin. You simply take two capsules about 45 minutes before you go to sleep and I sleep like a baby. I actually forgot to take these when I traveled to Mexico for surgery and regretted that decision. And since I've gotten home, I've really been relying on these for good quality, peaceful sleep. I do have a discount code for Stilace. I'll link it down below for you. You can purchase a month supply. What I do is just get on their auto ship where I just get a bottle delivered every single month because this has absolutely changed my life and changed my sleep game, which like I said, sleep actually plays a huge part in weight loss. So definitely check this out if you're someone that struggles to go to sleep, stay asleep, or you just wake up feeling like you didn't sleep, you definitely need Stilace in your life. Stilace has really come in handy this week for me because like I said, I have had a really exciting week. I am not cleared to work out or go back to normal life really until tomorrow, July 1st. However, I'm not quite sure that I'm ready. Now I'm ready to go back to the gym and lift weights. I'm going to obviously have to modify my workouts a little bit. I am actually able to lift my arms over my head a little bit more on that here in just a second. And then I think I'm ready to go back to boot camp. but again, I'm just going to have to make several modifications. I don't see myself doing burpees. I don't see myself doing a lot of over the head movements with weights yet. We'll just kind of have to see. I'm going to be listening to my body and making any adjustments or modifications modifications that I need to make. But I have been able to really get out and move my body. I've been walking at least six days a week, sometimes seven days a week.
days a week. And this week I had quite a big NSV or quite a big milestone in my recovery. So on Monday, I got up bright and early and headed to Tucson to hike to Mamak Hill, which is basically a mountain. I climbed to the top of Tumamak Hill on Monday and it was glorious. It was absolutely beautiful. It was just under 80 degrees, but there was a little slight breeze. She was warm, but it was absolutely stunning and the views made it worth it entirely. I climbed all the way to the top, enjoyed the views, and then walked back down. At the top of Tumamak, you actually touch the gate, which is a sign, a rite of passage, basically that you made it to the top. And then I was able to take this photo here where I raised my arms over my head for the first time since surgery. And it was a huge, huge milestone. It was a huge NSV for me. I haven't been comfortable putting my arms over my head until just this week, which is kind of in line with what the surgeon said for recovery. But it was just amazing to be able to go and be extra active, to be sweaty, to get my heart rate elevated, and to really feel like myself again. And to be honest with you, that little trip to Tumamak, that hike up that mountain really filled my soul and made me excited and motivated to see what I can do with my body post-op. I also got to see some friends this week. I feel like the only friend I've seen is my husband, really, since I had my surgery. I went next door to visit my neighbor. I got to hold her baby, Ireland, for the first time. Ireland is about six weeks old. She actually had her baby two days before I had surgery, so we're, me and Ireland, we're on the same schedule. She's about six weeks old, so I spent some time over there visiting with her, and then Tuesday of this week, I got to go to Taco Tuesday with all of my friends. My neighbor, I've become friends with my neighbor and my neighbor's friends friends. They're now my little friend group. So we all went out for Taco Tuesday. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to coffee in the morning with my mother-in-law. And then tomorrow night is girls night with boot camp. And I haven't seen my boot camp friends for about two months. So I am so excited. We're going to an outdoor market in Tucson, kind of shopping, food trucks, just enjoying outdoors in this outdoor market. Now, side note, it's hot here. We're actually under an extreme heat warning. It's been anywhere from about 110 to about 115. I'm hoping that it's around 80 when we go to this outdoor market rather than in the hundreds, but it's going to be amazing and I can't wait to see them. And really between hiking to Mamak Hill and seeing my friends and just being out of my house really truly has made my heart so happy. And that's really led me to feeling like I'm 95% back to my normal self, which is so exciting. Before I talk about my weigh-in for the week though, let's talk about this week's workshop topic because this is a good one. And that is a surprising way to be a little bit more active. Having trouble staying active when your usual routine is thrown off, let's be honest, all of my routines have been thrown off. This is totally normal. We as human beings naturally take the path of least resistance. And when our routine is thrown off, especially when it comes to activity, sometimes we just throw in the towel and we don't remain active and we don't do our normal activities. But there are some things that you can do even when your routine is thrown off to stay active. Consider an activity you do instead of being active. Maybe instead of taking a walk in the morning, you sleep in, or your evening walk gets filled with watching TV or scrolling TikTok. Think about how your environment makes it easier to do that thing. I quickly press snooze and fall back asleep in a dark room. Or the couch, the pillows, and the soft blanket always look so cozy. My phone is practically glued to me and I open TikTok whenever I crave a break. Brainstorm ways to make the behavior harder to do, then pick one to try this week. I'll sleep with the curtains open to let in morning light and plug my phone in across the room right next to my fitness clothes walking shoes and headphones. Sometimes when our regular routine is thrown off, we find a new routine that isn't always healthiest and isn't always best for us. And I'll tell you that once you stop doing your regular fitness routine, whether it's just taking a walk or going to the gym or attending a class, it's really easy to fall out of that quickly and stay out of that and really, really hard to get back into that routine. And we find ourselves having these excuses like, oh, I overslept or, oh, I was too busy on my phone or there's this TV show that I have to watch. And none of these are going to help us with our weight loss journey. Moving your body, not necessarily exercise because you can lose weight without exercising, but moving your body and staying active is really important for weight loss and overall health health. Remember, a body in motion stays in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. You need to make these sedentary or these unhealthy behaviors 
harder. Kind of like the example, if you find yourself not being able to go to sleep because you're scrolling on your phone, plug your phone in across the room. I'll tell you when I was sleeping on the couch for about five weeks before we purchased our adjustable bed, my phone actually had to be plugged in in the kitchen because there was not a plug-in near my couch. That was really the best thing that really could have happened because when I went to bed, I went to bed. I wasn't scrolling my phone because it was literally in another room. All of these little hacks that you can do to keep your routine healthy and beneficial for your weight loss, do them. Think about something that you struggle with, some excuse that you have to not be active or move your body, and think what you can do this week to change that up, to try to get into a healthier, more normal routine. I also want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, Fuel is what behavioral scientists call anything that makes a behavior easier to do. Friction is anything that makes a behavior more challenging to do. Humans tend to do things that require the least amount of friction. Again, human nature, we're gonna take the path of least resistance and that's sleeping in, sitting on the couch watching TV and scrolling TikTok. And these are all habits that we want to get out of to be successful in our weight loss journey and become really truly the healthiest version of ourselves. So think about it maybe one of the more unhealthy habits that you do in your routine and how you can change that up to maybe a little bit healthier one this week. Let's talk about my weigh-in. I know that's what a lot of you are here for. Like I mentioned last week, my weight has steadily decreased since returning from plastic surgery. And like I also said last week, I feel like I'm losing my lean muscle and that's why my weight is decreasing because I'm at the stage in my weight loss journey where I really don't have fat to lose. So when I see weight drop or when I see the scale drop, it's probably an indication that I'm losing something other than fat, which is never ever been my goal. So I actually lost over a pound last week. And I mentioned in last week's weigh-in that I really wanted to up my calories, up my carbohydrates in hopes of maintaining my weight this week. One other thing that I had going for me when it comes to weight maintenance is I'm currently on my cycle. I'm actually just wrapping up my cycle and that generally inhibits weight loss and typically for me either leads to a little bit of a scale bump up or a maintenance. So when I stepped on the scale today, I actually am exactly the same weight as I was last week. So I didn't gain any weight. So that loss last week was a true loss, but I'm really relieved that the scale isn't continuing to go down, that it's kind of steadied itself out. And I attribute that to, like I said, being on my cycle, really upping my calories, upping my carbohydrates, because I was pretty active this week with taking that big hike and then moving my body and taking a walk every single day with the exception of Tuesdays, which has really always been my rest day. It's my filming day and it's been Lola's chemo day. And it came in really handy this week since I took that big hike on Monday. So I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled with the maintenance. And that is my goal moving into this next week. Maintain, maintain, maintain. Now it'll be interesting to see what happens when I get back to the gym this next week. And when I get back to boot camp. I think I may see that scale number go up a little bit, maybe from soreness or inflammation or just the extra activity. I'm going to continue with the higher calories, continue with the higher carbohydrates, hitting my protein goal every day. And let's just kind of see what happens. It's all really just trial and error with our bodies. And, so, and like I always say, the scale isn't the only indicator of success. It's other pieces of our journey that in my opinion are even more important that number on the scale, than that number on the scale. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And what is one maybe unhealthy part of your routine that you're going to swap out this week for something a little bit more healthy? Let me know everything down in the comments. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. And if you enjoyed another way in, I'll give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Have a wonderful Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive, massive grocery haul. We did our stock up haul from Costco. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Costco. So I have a big haul for you tomorrow. See you in the next one. Bye.